a lot of things about AI gets overcomplicated and blown out of proportion. But to leverage software like ChatGPT to make you a better employee is actually dead simple. Today, I'm going to share one AI use case that will be a game changer no matter what industry you're in. It's free, and it'll make you look like a genius using it. If you clicked on this video, you've probably been hearing people say that without AI, you're going to fall behind at work, or even lose your job, or God forbid, get entirely replaced. Obviously, you don't want that to happen, but just starting to use AI at work isn't that simple. How do you apply that advice? What are you actually supposed to do? If you've ever tried to get an AI to do your job for you, you probably discovered that it rarely, if ever, produces content that is actually usable in a professional setting. All of the tips, hacks, random GPTs, and premium prompts feel like cool ideas until you actually try them. The email it writes sounds weird and inhuman, or the image it generates lacks important details that your clients are going to care about, or the social media post it made feels spammy and inauthentic. You will likely spend more time fixing what the AI got wrong than you save by using the AI in the first place. If this happens to you, you are not alone. If you're still learning generative AI, finding uses that are reliably valuable in your day-to-day -day life is not trivial. But there is one thing that you can build into your workday without being some kind of prompt engineer, and you'll see results at work as soon as tomorrow. And that is, have the AI brainstorm questions for you. It might seem basic and kind of dumb, but I promise you, this is so powerful. If you look for it, there is a bunch of literature talking about the impact of intelligent curiosity in the workplace. And if ChatGPT can help you become someone who asks the right questions at the right time, well, you might just be destined for the C-suite. Let's talk about what this looks like in practice. Let's say you have a meeting coming up at work. It can be about anything. The meeting is important enough that they send out an agenda ahead of time, if that agenda came to you as an email, you can print that email to PDF and upload it to your AI tool of choice. AIs can read PDFs up to thousands and thousands of words now, so this should be no trouble. Now, if we ask ChatGPT to turn that agenda into a list of insightful questions, and if you specify what you do at work, the AI can readily supply you with what someone in your role should be making sure of and asking. This is the sort of task that generative AI thrives at. To do this yourself, I made a custom GPT and put a link in the description so you don't need to write a prompt, but this will work and is easy to pull off no matter which AI model you're using. Remember, good prompts are about clear instructions. So you can start by uploading the file or pasting the specifics of the situation you want to bring questions to. Then ask the GPT to summarize what it understands about your situation, and finally ask it for 10 critical questions that someone in your role should be considering. When you generate the results, these questions might not be perfect the first time, but it is much easier to spot good and useful questions than it is to redo the writing assignments ChatGPT failed at. From 10 questions, there's going to be at least a couple that apply directly to your situation, and from those, there's definitely going to be some that are going to be especially wise to bring up during the meeting when it's overlooked by whoever is talking. If you need more, of course, you can always add some context or suggest a specific line of questioning to go down, and your AI will give you even more questions to work with. Keep going and continue to copy down anything that you think is actually going to be worth asking. If you work remotely, having these questions up on another monitor makes it so easy to reference them and ask them at the perfect time. And if you're in person, you can just as easily copy them into a notebook. Either way, it is so valuable to bring these questions to your meeting. Having them in your back pocket, you'll seem attentive, forward-thinking, and insightful. And as a bonus, people love answering good questions. If a team worked hard and is presenting their results, the person who asks a great question is the person who makes them feel seen. While at the same time, asking about something that hasn't yet been considered can really get your company out of a pickle. If you ask, what if X happens and causes Y, before that very thing happens, you can save people at your company from a lot of embarrassment. And this is no risk. If your questions get answered before you ask them, great. 
check them off the list and make a note for yourself. But more often than not, doing this will mean you're more prepared than anyone else. And once you've done this and have your questions to reference, make sure you speak up and ask your questions because I promise you, your diligence and this preparation will be noticed and will lead to results. And this doesn't just apply to the meetings you have to sit through. You can generate questions based on your own presentations to make sure you've covered everything you need to. You can paste in a job description and bring your questions to the interview you're about to have. Or if you get some negative feedback at work, arming yourself with a list of questions from an unbiased perspective can help you turn that into a real growth moment and make you seem like a true team player. Also, you don't even need to ask the questions you get to a person. I have done great preparation by taking questions like these and plugging them right back into ChatGPT to get the answers. And I got information about things I had never thought of before. So I challenge you to give this a try. Let an AI help you come up with real questions that you might actually ask and take those questions into the workplace. I think you'll find that this simple use of AI will help boost your confidence, your productivity, and even improve your reputation at work. Let me know in the comments how it goes. I know this was kind of a new format of video. I really think YouTube needs more no-nonsense explanation of some of the more basic concepts in the AI world. This stuff is often put on a pedestal, and my idea here is to demystify generative AI a bit and show you how you can use it in ways that genuinely and immediately add value. I also tried making this video model agnostic, so no matter what large language model site you use, you should be able to apply this and see useful results yourself. Let me know if you appreciated that or if everyone just uses ChatGPT so it doesn't matter. Anyway, if you enjoyed, learned something, or want more, make sure you hit that like button so I know you liked it. And yeah, okay, I'll see you in the next one.